I have one last Eid look for you guys and I saved the simplest one and the one I'm most likely to wear for last. So here I'm going in with the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream which is so good as a moisturizer but also primes your skin so two steps in one. For coverage I'm doing a really thin layer of the Dior Forever Skin Glow. I love the color and finish of this foundation and it lasts no matter what climate you're in. So whether you're going out or staying in, you'll be good. For concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion in the color 2W. I love using this concealer because as bright as it is, I don't find that I need to use a concealer closer to my skin tone first or a color corrector. This does the brightening job that I want without being something too heavy. It still looks like my skin and it's a nice sheer brightening color. So I love putting it on my forehead and my chin to kind of elongate my face, carving out the outer corners of my eyes and the color Color on my eyelids to make it look like there's eyeshadow there and then under my eyes keeping it really close to my nose. I'm setting this really lightly with the Makeup Revolution setting powder in the color Lace and then to warm up my skin I'm going in with the Anastasia bronzer in the color Saddle. At this point, I started to realize I had forgotten to set my foundation before going in with such a pigmented bronzer. So I went back in with a big fluffy brush from Base Blue Cosmetics and blended it all out. I added a little more bronzer on my nose and then for blush, I went in with the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte in the color Sunkissed. I love this color. It goes with every skin tone. It is so creamy. It melts into your skin. It's perfect so I apply it really liberally because as I go on and do the rest of my makeup it is going to fade and blend into my skin I also like to apply it on my eyelids just for a nice wash of color and it keeps things homogenous with the rest of your face I wanted to keep my eyes really simple but still have there be something going on so I used the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Eye Color in the shade Coco. I applied it really messily along the lash line and then blended it out with this angled liner brush. For my brows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the color Dark Brown on another angled liner brush. I like to carve out the bottom of my arch and then the top of my arch just at the very peak of it and then draw hairline strokes in between. And then I will go in with a spoolie to blend it out and make it look natural. To line my lips, I'm using a MAC lip liner in the color Cork. It's a super versatile brown color and it lasts all day, so whether you're talking, eating, drinking, whatever it is, it will not budge. I'm blending this into my lip and then I'm going to top it with a gloss. This is Bow from MAC and I like this better than how a lipstick would wear throughout the day. So then finishing my look with lashes, I'm going to curl them at the base and then go in with my classic mascara duo, the MAC In Extreme Dimension Lash first, and then the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara second. To brighten my under eyes just a little bit more, I'm using Fenty's Pro Filter Setting Powder in the color Butter, and I'm using this to blend out the color on my cheeks as well and draw light to the center of my face. Just because I felt like doing a little bit extra, I'm using this Dior Backstage Highlighter Palette, the pink and bronze blush shades, and topping my cheeks with them to add a little bit of a glow. And this was our finishing touch, so I hope you enjoyed this look. It has been so much fun doing these Eid videos, and I hope you saw my other ones. If you liked them at all, please comment below and let me know, like the video, or subscribe to my channel. And once again, Eid Mubarak to everyone.